Hey y'all, hey y'all. So what's up? Just getting um, myself together for the day. <laughs> um, that was such a fake laugh, wasn't it? How are y'all? Hey. Okay, so I want to get ready with y'all and just talk and say hi. And what's up? I'm gonna be using my Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Cause I don't use this enough. I mean, I loved it when I first purchased it. The colors are beautiful. And so sometimes I have to go and find all my old palettes and bring them out because I have a bad problem with buying stuff and forgetting that I have it. So I am bringing out some old palettes. Okay, so I bought this little brush cleaning pad. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it looks like that. I want to get some of this color off. Oh, it kind of works. Like you can see the color coming off on here. So yeah, let's see if this works. You finally caught a live, hey girl. Welcome, Tamla. Or who said that? Yeah, that was you. So I've already got my eyebrows, my concealer and my contour working. So I wanted to go straight for the eyes and maybe the blush. So her palette looks like this. The colors are very pigmented and it's by Tarte. I love all her colors. I'm gonna go for like this mysterious look today. So, um, I don't know, should I go for the, the mauve look or the brownish? Tanny look. Mm, kind of hard. Maybe I should go for the smoky look. I'm going to go for the smoky look. So I'm going to go into Sippy Sippy. It's like a sparkly dark brown. I guess the color of iced tea. Yeah, it's called Sippy Sippy. This color. And it's like a brown with a gold sparkle, a gold glitter, but not a lot of glitter, but just a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like it because I'm trying to do this little smoky look today. A little, little smoky. Y'all know fall is coming. Kids are going back to school. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready for this fall. I cannot tell y'all. I'm tired of all these summer colors. I'm tired of, I want some dark, crisp fall colors. What about y'all? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, going in for this. Thank you, it's a wig. I I love, I love this wig. It's a cheap synthetic wig, but I um, thought it was a cute style. It's super long. I'm not used to this length. I don't recommend this length for freestyling. If y'all uh, are in my group, it's too long to look classy. <laughs> this is more for like you trying to look different, like a mermaid, or it is like super long, you know, not to score. Uh, you know, not for the galas, not for the the elegant part of town. You know what I'm saying? But you could, I'm, I might cut it because it is a little bit too long. Um, when I ordered it, I didn't. They don't have the link in the description when I ordered it because it's synthetic. So I had no idea that it was going to be this long. I just like the, the style in the front. So I'll probably cut it a couple of inches off so it can be wearable out in the public. And when I say public, I don't mean like, okay, so I live in a suburb, y'all. And so out here, this is an obvious, like you're out of place look this long. Cause y'all see how long this is? <laughs> This is obviously you're out of place, um, lady. <laughs> so you can't really walk this look over here. So I gotta cut it a little bit. I mean, I'll rock it, I don't care. But I can't wear this to my kids' school. So I'll probably cut it before school starts. I'll look, look, I'll rock it for 
a few days and then I'm gonna cut it because my kids will not be, will not let me have it. Yeah, you know, you never would have guessed it was a wig. Well, thank you. That means I did a good job on it. <laughs> hey. I tell y'all it's a wig because this is a beauty channel, of course, and y'all want to know. Y'all need to know. <laughs> yes, I always, um, well, I saw this style on YouTube, but the girl had green hair and she was short, so I didn't know how it would look on me because I'm tall. So... And then I figured I could cut it if it was a little long. Plus, it was only $32, so I'm buying it. Okay. <laughs> I did this wig review last night. If y'all want to go check it out, it's the video before this. And it's the name of the wig. I think it's up. Yeah. <sighs> when you see repeating numbers, it means to research them and because there's a message for you. And look up the spiritual meaning of that number, not just the number itself, but the spiritual meaning. You know? And another thing that people don't do, which I think you should start doing, and so if you're seeing triple digits, add them up. Then add that and get that number and see what that is. Because sometimes you got to read between the lines too. Okay? It's not always the obvious. Sometimes it's not the obvious. You get a deeper meaning. You know, so you're seeing two, 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 add that up. Two times three is six. Look up number six. Okay, figure that out. Mm hmm Yes. When you're, like, when you're, when your matrix, when your matrix starts changing, you're going to start seeing what they call glitches. In the matrix, you know, you're going to start seeing signs that, you know, the path you're on could be changed. Okay, so got this little smoky look. I'm not going for a deep, dark, smoky look, but I will go for this, like, subtle smoky look. And it ain't fall, winter yet, so I can't walk around in the summer with this deep smoke look yet. I gotta wait for the fall. <laughs> So I really like this color. Um, mm. So I'm gonna go on the top with a highlight. And, and I'm gonna use I'm going to use this SFS, hashtag FS, S, Swamp Family, whatever, SFS, and just go up there with that. This really is a nice palette if you don't, if you haven't gotten it. I don't know, I don't think they still sell it. Maybe they sell it online, but I, I got it when it first came out. And I used it for like two weeks, and then I got new palettes, and I just kind of forgot about it. But I forgot how much I really like these colors in here. So I wanted to break it on back out. So um, it's a good fall palette for sure. Because look at all the beautiful colors. Wow. Okay. So now that I have that highlight on, I'm you know this is good. You know I don't need extra extra unless you know I just want to be that extra. But I could put a, I could pop a little color. Right here, I'm going to use Sassy Bun. It's like a coppery. Uh, shimmery color. And that's, that's kind of cute. Okay. So I'm going to that. Y'all know she has blush in here. And blush and highlighter. And this could be used as a contour, but it's a little too orange for a contour for me. But it can be used as a bronzer for sure or an eyeshadow. So well, let me go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit of her highlighter. I love my own highlighter, but I'm gonna use a little bit just to show you guys what it looks like. It's okay, you know, it'll work, but it's just not, it's a lot of glitter in it, but 
I love my JD Glow, baby. I love it. Okay, this is my favorite highlighter. It's, it's Essence. This is, I love this more than Becca now. I'm so sorry, Becca. First it was Becca, then it was Trophy Wife. Now it's that. I'm not faithful to highlighters. Can you put in the middle some dark green? I could, but I'm not. <laughs> you know, I mean, that is a good idea for fall, but I can't right now, but I will in the fall. That's a really good suggestion. Um, thank you. Um, this has a dark green in it that I'm dying to wear. This one right here. So I'll be popping that in in the fall. But thanks for the idea. Okay. So I got to do my liner and all that kind of stuff. Or should I do a more smoky look with no liner? What do y'all think? Should I do black? More smoky? What are y'all talking about? Yeah, the green is pretty. I need a black or a darker brown. I'm going to go for the darker brown. Okay, so I have this color Kenya that's really dark. So maybe I can kind of darken it on the closer to the eye with Kenya. Yes. I feel like I need something darker though. This is not dark enough for me. Like maybe some black, add some black in just a little bit. Hmm. I need darker colors. Oh, I got it. I use this palette that I bought. There's a little black in there, but it's not super dark. So it's down here, some more gray than it is super black. So I'm gonna get in that crease. And look. Like that, yeah. I love versatile palettes that you can wear year round. Like this one is good because there's warm and cool colors. Fall and spring and summer colors. Okay. So that looks better. I'm just gonna go down underneath with a little of that charcoal color. I really want the smoke look today. Okay. I'm gonna take my kids, they were craving Taco Bell. I gotta take them to Taco Bell for this. <laughs> Sasha loves their nachos. I don't know. She's so sweet. Okay. Now I'm gonna just blend a little bit up here. I don't have any color on this. It's just how I just the same bristles from that red. I'm just gonna blend. Okay, there. I do wanna put some eyeliner, but not liquid eyeliner because I don't want that line, like that wing look today. I just want like a smoked out look. So I'm just gonna use this regular black liner. And kind of go over that. Let me go under here. And then kind of smudge it out a little bit while it's still. Do I see that? Yes, gives you like some mystery. Like you don't know everything about me. <laughs> uh-huh. 
I don't really do this look very often. So it, it's cute when I do it. I like, I love the results. And this is a 24 hour eyeliner. So this one, you ever have that problem with your smoky look fading? Use some 24 hour um, liner and like smear that in. And that way it doesn't wear off, you know? Hey. A lot of people say, oh, I hate the smoky look because by the end of the day, I look like a raccoon and it's all worn off anyway. I'm like, you're using the wrong product. Gotta get that 24 hour. Mm -hmm. And I did forget to put primer on, but I have the concealer, so hopefully that will work as a eye primer. Okay. So, now that I've gotten that taken care of, you can clean up under your eye if you had any fallout or just take some concealer or powder or whatever. Now for the mascara. Now you could do you could do lashes, but y'all know I'm not big on everyday lashes. Um, unless they're very natural. But I love my Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara because they do make your lashes look slightly longer than they are. I mean, a lot longer, not slightly, and thicker. So I always go for this instead of lashes if I don't want lashes. Oh my God, y'all, I was, I was trying to wash my face and I was trying to pump out the the cleansing, the face cleanser, and it was clogged, right? It's my bliss with a pour or clay cleanser or whatever. And I pumped it so hard that it was the clog like put pressure behind it and it squirted up on my wall, the clay cleanser. And I have like these gray spots that I can't reach way up there because my ceiling is very high. I stood on a chair and I got what I could, but it's way too high now. I have like clay spots all over my bathroom wall. I have to get a huge ladder to reach it, but <laughs> that's the only thing I don't like about that product that it clogs. Then you have to clean, clear the pump. Mm -hmm. Now I have clay on my wall. Oh. I'm mad about that. Okay. And the funny thing is, I thought it went on the floor because I just saw it squirt a long distance. And I was looking on the floor and I couldn't find it to clean up. I'm like, oh, well, I wonder where it went. And then I look up an hour later and I see it. <laughs> no. So bad. It's not a lot, it's just like sprinkles. So you can go really, you can really go in with the mascara and do a few coats since if you're not wearing lashes. And you, yeah, that's what I do. So, um, Now, for some blush, I'm going with this. Or, no, you know what? I'm going to use the Swamp Queen blush. Let's, let's use her blush. I'm going to use Do This Thing Really Work. This is color right here. Or should I use Sweet Tea? I don't know. Well, I, can't, I don't know if I should do... Let me see. Let's see what they look like on... Okay, I'll use sweet tea. It's more of a orangish. I think I put too much y'all. <laughs> this is definitely too much. I told y'all it was pigmented. Oh, it like a... No, it looked like a harlot. Mm 
Okay. So, compliments. You like my shirt? Thank you. It's a dress and a kimono. It's a free people black lace dress and a kimono. <laughs> you know, I kind of dress like boho chic in the summertime or real relaxed because, you know, I'm married. I got kids, but I still do my hair, makeup and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not out trying to catch a man. If I was, I totally wouldn't dress boho. I totally would. I would dress ho-ho. Okay. So, I know a lot of girls are like, why are you telling us to dress this way and you're dressed that way? Because I already got my man and, you know, I'm not out trying to get another one. But if I was, y'all know, I, I didn't know what boho was until I got married, child. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, this is my go-to look instead of looking like a mom. I'm going to do my boho, baby. And, you know, they sell a lot of boho clothes and they're really expensive, you know. So you can still be fashionable and spend money and still dress boho. It's, it's almost like the moms that don't want to wear all that soccer mom or workout clothes. They either do boho or preppy and I do both. So in the spring and in the winter, I'm more preppy. And like towards the end, towards the end of the winter, I've become more preppy and into the spring. And then when it gets hot, and I'm boho because it's too hot to wear all the layers of clothes and button up and iron and stuff. So my style changes throughout the year. Because in Texas, the weather is crazy. Real crazy. <laughs> So, I like how this is doing this because I put too much blush. I'm going to go in with some uh, foundation and kind of mute this out. So this, you know, it's kind of giving me like this old lady vibe. Thank you. Um, subscriber sent these earrings to me. Hey, girl. <laughs> that's better right. if, you, if you go too much on the blush just mute it out with some foundation and some powder and you're good to go um I need my powder so I'm going to go with my LA Girls Pro Powder and just kind of set that I've been using this Revlon um, <laughs> a lot because it's so easy to put on. You just twist it up and go like this. Wow, that's quick. The um, I wonder if the high-end brands have something like this. That's very convenient. Okay. There we go. I'm aging backwards. Oh, thank you. I try. Hmm. Will I marry you? Oh, oh that's so sweet. But I'm already married. Oh. Okay. I'm just putting this back on because I took some off. And I'm using this JD Glow Cosmetics. Okay, I think that's done. Now, what lip color, y'all? I know what we need a nude. I'm not even gonna try to put any green on. I know I need a nude or a dark color. What causes false eyelashes to come off in the middle of the day? Um, either your eyes greasy or you didn't get the good glue. You gotta get the good glue. Okay. Or you didn't put enough glue on. Or it's a cheap lash and it didn't bolt to your eye shape well. So this is the glue I use. It's called Super Strong Hold by, I think it's called IENB. 
and you can paint your lashes uh, band. Y'all, this is not a real tattoo, so y'all don't freak out. They're temporary. I was just playing around with my kids and we were putting on tattoos. So don't worry, no tattoos. No new ones anyway. Um, did I say nude? This is the new super long wig, but I'm probably gonna cut it because it is too long. Um, I just, I'm probably gonna cut it to about 22 inches and wear it like that because it's way too long. This is the only length it came in, but I really liked the style and like up in the top. You know, it did come with baby hairs, but this is my own hair um, in the front. It did come with baby hairs, but you have to like still pluck and stuff. But it did have some shorter hairs. So that's a good thing. Okay, now, Lips. What am I gonna wear on my lips? This is the question of the day. Hmm. I don't have any nude lip color. I have like this other, this is not really nude. It's almost like a dark grayish mauve. I don't know how that's gonna look, but let's see. It's, um, uh, Sanctuary by Kat Von D. How does that look? Is that a good nude? Do I need some dark liner with it or what? Y'all tell me. I do have some darker liner. Too pale. Mm, it's not really pale. I think it's just the lighting. Because I'm looking orange in my mirror. <laughs> like, believe me. It's the lighting. Um, I'm almost all blue of color in, in the mirror. <laughs> okay. So I need the lip liner. Okay, I bought this new lip liner. I got it from online it's a long wear 24 hour waterproof gel liner it's by absolute new york mm -hmm. there it kind of looks like more put together with the liner definitely Is that better, y'all? So I'm just gonna clean this up. Okay. Yes. It just looks more put together. You're right. Um, this stupid liner, like the lid went inside. Yeah, it's like. I'll just get another one. It was only a dollar. <laughs> but thank you guys. Okay, so now I gotta spray myself. Let me just blend this a little bit more. Where is my spray? Here we go. So, my City Color Matte Setting Spray. Y'all, I use this new um, Kiss Eye Pencil um, that looks like this. It's by Kiss, and it's called by Top Brow. It's called Top Brow. It really works good, and I got a darker color because of the darker wig, so it looks like that. It works really well, and the little brush is nice. So, now fix my hair better. 
Do I want this out in the front or not? I don't know. Put this hair in the front, this hair in the front. Put these baby hairs down. The curls together. Y'all, I wanted this style in a human hair wig, but I wanted to test it out in a synthetic wig first to see if it looked good on my head. And here we go. This is it. So, I'll show you guys my outfit and my. Uh, my look for today. I put on my junket first. Close this drawer. I, I cut all my nails off, y'all. Cut them off. I'm gonna start over. All right, y'all. So this is the look. It's like a little short. I almost look like I'm still in my uh, nightgown. Very, very boudoir. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. So, this is a shake and go wig, so you don't really have to curl it or do much to it. You just shake it and it's just fall in place. I don't know. But I brushed it out still because that's what I, I need to brush it. Okay. Well, that's my finished look. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, thank y'all. Aren't wigs too hot in the summer? I don't go anywhere where there's no air conditioning. So, I mean, <laughs> everywhere I go has air conditioning. In Texas, everywhere is cold in the inside because it's so hot. People put the AC on, all, you know, super hot, super cold. So, like, right now, it's cold in my house. <laughs> don't cut the wig. You don't want me to cut it. Okay, y'all see how long this is, though? Look at that. This is super long. It's like, it's like super long though. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave, I'll leave it on for, I'll leave it on for a week or so. Like if it grows on me, I won't cut it, but definitely this is not good for, for <clears throat> getting that money. Okay. It's just a, I don't want y'all to be like taken back. Like, oh, she has that long one. Why can't I wear it? I mean, because it attracts, you know, the, the 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 longest I would do is 22 for that lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm tall, like I'm five nine. So the length may look different on you, it might be down to your butt. <laughs> uh-huh. But thank you. I appreciate it. Like if you're short, the, the wig will be longer on you. <laughs> okay. So thank you all so much. I hair is an accessory. It sure is. Because I can switch it out. <laughs> um, and a lot of people think, you know, oh, she must be bald under there. No, my hair is pretty long. It's growing. It's about this long. You know, <clears throat> it's not as thick or, as these wigs, unless I put like rollers and stuff in it. But who, you know, whose is? <laughs> so unless I wear curly, but I like, you know, it's I like the wigs because they're easier, they're more polished, faster. It just gives you a whole nother look, and. I still have my hair underneath. If somebody want to yank it off, I still got hair. Okay. <laughs> but they don't do that. 
so good. You love tall women. That's good. There's a lot of tall women out there looking for a man. Have you let your baby hairs out? This is my real baby hairs. Um, the wig does have baby hairs, but you still have to like pluck that hairline because it's so it's like thick. And I didn't feel like doing all that, so I just pulled my real ones out. And I didn't use any glue or anything. I just pulled my real ones out and put the combs in place. So, and I used some edge control, but that's pretty much it. How do I, it's in a low bun. My real hair is in slick back with a low bun under this wig. Oh. And the wig has a lot of body. So you can't really see unless you touch it. Uh, so that's usually how I do it in a low bun. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Pretty much it. And I'm a real baby hairs. Oh, and then of course you can make this part in the middle if you want. And it, it looks cute in the middle too, but I like it on the side. You don't get it corn rolled, no. My hair is natural. Do you think that it would be easy to blend baby hairs with straight wig? No, I'm gonna go curly. If you get some good edge control or some, um, let me tell you, um, where's this one? Where's this stuff at? There is this um, gel, well, I can't see. Oh, here it is. This gel will lay your baby hairs down and look super straight. But it's also what a lot of ladies use to glue their wigs to their um, their head right here. But it will lay the baby hair down just like this. And you got to use a little toothbrush comb. They sell these in the beauty supply store. It has this little comb and a little um, small brush right here. And just lay them down. This will keep them down. Okay, but I didn't use that today. I used this stick, and it also gives your hair nutrients. It has like avocado oil, and it's just like and then calm it down. It's more like a waxy uh, edge control. But if you want your hairs to match, use like a strong gel. Okay. This one, yes. And then when you go to take this off, wet, wet, like a little toothbrush or your uh, brush or your fingertips and go like this to uh, get it from not being super hard. Okay. Yes. The edge control or beeswax. Yes, definitely. So just keep that in mind if you don't want. Now, if you have a far back hairline because you already lost edges, don't don't do it because you're gonna your wig's gonna be up here. You know, if you if your hairline is back here, don't even bother. Just go ahead and glue that thing on. And shoot, some people even used to draw them in. Get you look, eyebrow pencil brush. I've seen some people draw the edges in. I don't know, like. I have seen it, and they get like an eyebrow, an eyebrow pencil with the brush, and they go, "Oh, girl, I need some more edges." And they just, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, them edges, girl. We we'll blend that in now. So if you don't have edges, make some, child. Like, oh yes, <laughs> before you. You know, commit to the the hairline that's too far back. If you know, you know what I mean. I'd rather draw it in first. Okay, be like, oh yeah, look, that's my real edges even. And this is twenty four hours, so like, even if your edges weren't thick enough, you could make them thicker with an eyebrow pencil. See, just a little tip, just a little tip, but uh. Make sure you have a separate one so it don't get like 
contaminated. Um, oops. <laughs> oh, well, get you a cheap one for your hairline. But make sure it's like a 24 hour one, like the kiss. So, mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to go take my kids, get something to eat, and I'll see y'all later. I might come back and do a video on my other channel a little bit later today. All right, y'all? Bye.